Imagine a world where your compass points south instead of north, where auroras are seen near the equator, and where the sun's harmful radiation reaches the Earth's surface with greater intensity. This might sound like science fiction, but it's a possible reality under the phenomenon known as geomagnetic reversal. Let's dive a bit deeper. The Earth, our home, is like a giant magnet with a north and south pole. Sometimes in a process that takes thousands of years, these poles flip. This is what we call a geomagnetic reversal. Now, you might be wondering, what happens when these poles switch places? Well, the effects could be quite dramatic. For starters, we could see significant changes in our climate. The last known geomagnetic reversal, known as the Adams event, was associated with pronounced climate change, including the growth of ice sheets and glaciers in North America, and shifts in wind belts and tropical storm systems. Animal navigation could also be disrupted. Many species, including birds and marine life, rely on the Earth's magnetic field for direction. A reversal could leave these creatures disoriented and struggling to find their way. Next, there's the increase in cosmic radiation. The Earth's magnetic field acts as a protective shield against the sun's harmful rays. A weakening or reversal of this field means more radiation could reach the Earth's surface, posing potential health risks for all living organisms. And finally, our technology might take a hit. Our modern society is heavily reliant on electronics and satellite systems, all of which could be affected by a major shift in the Earth's magnetic field. The Adams event, the last known geomagnetic reversal, gives us a glimpse into what might happen. This event, which took place around 42,000 years ago, might have even contributed to the extinction of the Neanderthals. Such an event, known as a geomagnetic reversal, is not a figment of science fiction, but a potential reality that our planet has experienced before. As we move forward, understanding this phenomenon and its potential impacts becomes crucial for our survival and the preservation of life as we know it. In the bogs of New Zealand, ancient Kauri trees have been preserving a secret for over 40,000 years. Forged in the crucible of time, the ancient Kauri trees of New Zealand are among the oldest living things on Earth. These age-old guardians have been silently recording the Earth's magnetic field for thousands of years, their lifelines etched in the rings of their colossal trunks. Astonishingly, some of these Kauri trees were already centuries old when they fell over 40,000 years ago. Preserved perfectly in the bogs where they tumbled, these trees provide a remarkable record of Earth's past and a window into the workings of our planet's magnetic field. Scientists have discovered that the rings of these ancient trees contain radiocarbon, an isotope that forms in the atmosphere when cosmic rays from space collide with nitrogen. When the Earth's magnetic field is strong, it deflects more of these cosmic rays, resulting in less radiocarbon in the trees. But when the magnetic field is weak, more cosmic rays reach the atmosphere and more radiocarbon ends up in the trees. By examining the levels of radiocarbon in the Kauri tree rings, scientists can piece together a picture of how the Earth's magnetic field has changed over time. This has allowed them to investigate past geomagnetic reversals, periods when the Earth's magnetic field weakened, flipped, and then slowly regained its strength. These shifts in the Earth's magnetic field have massive global consequences. They can affect climate, cause solar storms, and even drive species to extinction. Understanding these events is crucial to predicting our planet's future. Through these ancient sentinels, scientists have pieced together the story of the last geomagnetic reversal, the Adams event. 42,000 years ago, the Earth's magnetic field temporarily broke down, leading to a phenomenon now known as the Adams event. This occurrence wasn't just a magnetic hiccup. It was a transformative episode that left a profound impact on our planet and possibly its inhabitants. What exactly happened during this event? Picture this. The Earth's magnetic poles, those reliable compass points, decided to play a game of switcheroo. North became south and south became north. You might imagine that this would merely result in some very confused pigeons, but the implications were far graver and more widespread. 
as the poles reversed, the Earth's magnetic field, our protective shield against the solar wind, weakened significantly. This allowed more of the Sun's charged particles to reach our planet, causing increased ionization of our atmosphere. Now, this might sound like a lot of scientific jargon, but in layman's terms, it led to a significant shift in our climate. This shift was no subtle change of seasons. Instead, it was a radical reshaping of our environment. Ice sheets and glaciers grew in North America, wind belts shifted, tropical storm systems changed. The Earth, as it was known, was undergoing a comprehensive makeover. But what about the life on Earth? How did this event affect them? Here's where things get really interesting. The Adams event coincides with a significant turning point in our prehistoric timeline, the disappearance of the Neanderthals. Yes, our robust, resilient cousins, who had survived for hundreds of thousands of years, suddenly vanished around this time. Could the Adams event have led to their extinction? It's a compelling possibility. Moreover, the Adams event also coincides with the sudden emergence of figurative art in caves worldwide. It's as if this magnetic mayhem sparked a creative revolution in our ancestors, leading them to express themselves in ways they never had before. So the Adams event, this flip of the magnetic poles, was not just a geological event. It was an environmental upheaval, a potential extinction event, and possibly even a cultural catalyst. The Adams event serves as a stark reminder of the potential consequences of a future geomagnetic reversal. It prompts us to think about our place in the universe, our fragility and our extraordinary ability to adapt and evolve. It serves as a wake-up call, a warning from history about the power of our planet and the changes it can undergo. So, next time you look at a compass, remember, it's not just pointing north, it's telling a story. A story of survival, adaptation and the incredible resilience of life on Earth. The Earth's magnetic field is on the move again and some scientists believe another reversal could be on the horizon. Now, let's delve into the implications of a future geomagnetic reversal for our modern society. Picture this. Our reliance on technology has grown exponentially in recent years. From cell phones to satellites, our world is interwoven with intricate networks of electronic devices. But what if I told you that a geomagnetic reversal could disrupt these networks? Yes. You heard it right. A weakening of the magnetic field as seen during a reversal could allow more space weather to reach Earth, potentially causing significant disturbances to technology. But that's not all. The climate changes associated with a geomagnetic reversal could also be quite dramatic. A reversal around 42,000 years ago led to pronounced climate change, including the growth of ice sheets and glaciers in North America and shifts in wind belts and tropical storm systems. If a similar scenario were to unfold today, the consequences could be devastating, impacting not just our environment, but also our agriculture, our infrastructure and our way of life. So what's the solution? Well, it's right here in front of us, reducing carbon emissions. Lowering our carbon footprint is crucial to mitigating the effects of such events. We have the power to influence the state of our planet and every little action counts. Whether it's switching to renewable energy sources, reducing waste or planting more trees, there's a role for each of us to play. In conclusion, a future geomagnetic reversal could present significant challenges for our society. But it's not all doom and gloom. We have the knowledge, the technology and the will to act. So, let's take this as a call to action. Let's work together to shape our future and ensure the survival and prosperity of generations to come. Our actions today can help shape the Earth's response to a future geomagnetic reversal, ensuring the survival and prosperity of generations to come.